crocheted wind spinners are very popular at the moment, so I decided to make my own version of them. These are also a great way to use up scrap yarn. Display them in your garden or terrace or balcony. You can really use your creativity in making each one different. You can even wrap battery lights around a spinner for a party feel. So let's see how we are making them. You need up to four different colors of yarn. You can of course use less. This doesn't take a lot of yarn, so you can use leftover balls of different kinds. My ones actually here are not even the same material, because this is not something that you will be washing and wearing, but they would need to be approximately the same weight, otherwise the shape won't be right. And then you need a hook that goes with the yarns. I'm using 4 mm Clover Amour. That's my favorite hook type. You can check the description for the link. Here's one of the ones I finished, and when we first start, you need to make the start about the length you want your spinner to be. It stretches a bit, but you see here that the starting chain is more or less straight, and especially when it's hanging, so the size doesn't change much. I am actually not starting with the chain, but chainless foundation, which means that we start to crochet directly single crochets, and I'm using American crochet terms. Single crochet in British terms is double crochet. So first just make a slip knot, whatever way you like to do it. And chain two, just two. And then insert the hook in the first one. Take the yarn, again yarn over. And now to start the foundation crochet, just pull through one. That's like creating the chain, and then this other side is creating the single crochets. And now yarn over and pull through both. Then go into this stitch that we just made on the left side and uh, insert the hook through both sides of the stitch. Yarn over and pull through again one. And again through one. And then through both. And this is how we continue. You first make the one stitch always in the left and then the single crochet on the right. And now continue like this until you have this as long as you want your wind spinner to be. And if you prefer not to use this foundation crochet, you could chain and make a row of single crochets on the chain. But I definitely prefer this, so I'm not even showing that that way. Here's mine. And for the next row, stitches look nicer if you always crochet from the same side. So what I'm doing now, I'm putting a stitch marker at the start of uh, this piece I have now, so where I started, just so that I remember which end it is and I don't have to start looking at the stitches so carefully every time. So that's where I will be starting the next row. And for that I'm taking my second color. I'll take this here blue. Now there are different ways now making these spinners. This here one is completely straight if you look from the top. Every coil is the same size. This other one, if you look at it, it's slightly tapered in, like this here. And you achieve that by having smaller stitches in the beginning and end. So we start where the stitch marker is. And I'm going to make mine so that it is slightly tapered in. And to get that, I will first have some single crochets then some half double crochets and then double crochets. But if you wanted it completely straight, you would have only double crochets. Whichever way, you need to have two stitches in every stitch so that it starts spiraling. I'll start here. I take both strands for the first stitch so it stays better. And I'll put the tail inside my stitches. Now I don't have two in the first stitch, but then in the second one. 
a single crochet there and another one in the same stitch and continue like that for about 10 stitches so two single crochets in each stitch there I have two single crochets each in 10 stitches and then I continue using half double crochets. So half double crochet means that you start like a double crochet but you take a yarn over and pull straight through. So that means a slightly lower stitch than a double crochet. And two in the same stitch. There's two in that stitch and then splits the yarn and then two in the next one and continue like this. It depends a bit on how long your spinner is going to be. So I'll do a few like that here using the half double crochets here. And as you can see, it's already spiraling like that and then going on using just double crochets so a double crochet two double crochets in each of the next stitches so two double crochets in each stitch and uh, then keep going like this until nearly the end. I will want this tapering at the other end too, so I'll stop the double crochets at about 20 stitches before the end. So keep going two double crochets in each stitch. So here are my double crochets. And if yours is much bigger, then of course this bit here is much, much longer. And then I'll do another bit of half double crochets, half of this what I have left here, about 10. And then when I have just a little bit left, I'll do two single crochets in each stitch until the end. And then when I get to the end, I cut the yarn. That's that one. And then the next row, again, go to where you have the stitch marker. Actually, cut that there. For the third row for various spirals, many people may put three stitches in each stitch. I prefer not to do that because that makes it very heavy. What I do instead I continue like the second row, but after each double stitch, after each time having two stitches in a stitch, I chain one. So crochet two, chain one, crochet two, chain one. And I'll start here almost at the end. Again, I have a different color. And then two stitches there again i'm i'm doing this tapering again so i'm starting with single crochets then chain one before skipping to the next one and two in the next one again chain one and two in the is that the same one no <laughs> like this for a while and then we are changing for half double crochets and then double crochets i'll do a bit less of these other stitches than double crochets maybe three more here there and chain one and then half double crochets two two in every stitch chain one and then two chain one and so on and 
a few more half double crochets. If you are enjoying this tutorial, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. And then go on into double crochets. So again, chain one and two double crochets. Just like on the previous row, but one chain in between. That's what grows it enough so that it continues spiraling. So almost till the end, two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets in the next stitch and next stitch. Always the chain one in between. So I finished this row. And uh, the last bit is half double crochets and then at the end again single crochets. Now it's, it's a bit of a mess so you need to shape it like this here. So that was the biggest row with stitches. Of course it doubles on every row. And um, let's see this now. There, <laughs> no, can't get it, get it right. Here, <laughs> now it's been put together. And um, you could actually leave it here now. It's a spiral like that, that. Or you can do something for the edging. So do one more row of single crochets or something. On this here one, you can see that I have little picots on the last row. So here, just every fourth stitch, I have put two chain stitches together in between there. But here, I'll take a different color. I'll take this here red and uh, starting again at the spot where my stitch marker is, I'm going to crochet one more row. You could, of course, also use glitter yarn. This here one has two rows of glitter, maybe for Christmas time especially. What I'll do here is just a single crochet in each stitch there, so no more increasing. And I'm actually going to just use the outside, the back loop of the st previous stitches and do single crochets in there, in each one also in those chains because every third stitch here is a chain so just making an edging with different with a different color right round the the longer you continue this the bigger job it is of course because you have so many stitches here now but so just keep going like this every single stitch one single crochet in it. I finished the red round it and then when you get to this you need to again set, set it right so that the spiraling goes well like this here. And now in my case where I have the stitch marker that's actually going to be the top because I like it this way that the stitches are slightly upward. Now at this stage, depending on what kind of material you used, you could like put it under some weights for the night or you could steam it, steam it carefully or just sort of press it. Depends on what kind of material you have. And you could add like a tassel or pompons or beads or something to the to the bottom end of it. I haven't actually done that with any of mine. And then you need a cord that you're going to hang it from. And it needs to be strong enough when it's windy, but not thick, so that it spirals freely. I haven't hung it yet, but then it opens like this here into a lovely spiral. Also check out these other projects to crochet for your home. Until next time.